rehearsed for the majority of his tours since 1978. When EMI were getting ready to release No Nuclear War, they set up a press conference for Peter in this really nice place, says Winston Harriet. It was part of a major press campaign and journalists arrived from all around the world because there was a lot of attention on him. I was with Peter and Marlene in the car and as we arrived, Marlene said she was going to have a look inside before Peter made his entrance. We said, cool, and drove round the block. When we get back now, she said, we're not going in there. I jumped out to see what the problem was and saw the place was full. The guy from Rolling Stone magazine was there, and Earl Chin from Rockus TV. People from EMI were there too. Everybody was sat there smiling, looking forward to seeing Peter. But Marlene said there were too many white people in there, and I couldn't believe it. I watched the whole thing come down, and you have to blame Peter because he allowed it to happen. But that Marlene Brown was such a bad influence on him, believe me. She was an Obia woman, and she just locked him away. She destroyed him, and also other people too, like Free Eye. People got really disturbed about what was happening to him. Eventually